How's it going everybody? Today I have something pretty cool I've been working on. It is a third person camera setup. No Python. The way I have this set up is this is our object. This is our collision object for our camera. So whenever this empty here touches any object in the scene, it will tell this camera to move forward in the animation. And as soon as it gets to the back of the head of the character, say you're in a spot where uh, the camera is getting pretty close to the character. It will make the character's head here turn invisible and then it will go into this first person camera. So we have our third person character camera <laughs> this floppy animation I made just for testing. So as soon as we look up, it's a first person camera. That way the camera doesn't fall through the floor. We don't see the inside of the floor. I think if we move pretty fast, you can yeah, it's still a little bit slow. You could uh, change the timing of the animation, make it quicker so you're not looking at the inside of the floor. But yeah, if you move too quickly, it will just go to the inside of the floor. But if we slowly go, we can look up into the sky, first person, and then as soon as there's no collision with the ground, we are back in third person. So, and the same thing goes for this little obstacle course I made here. If we walk in here, as soon as the camera starts to hit the objects around us, it goes into first person mode. That way we're not running into anything. You can even see our little body here. But yeah, and then as soon as we walk back out in the open, it goes back into third person. That's pretty sweet. So let's take a look at the logic. So the way I have this set up, we go into our logic here. You can see here are my nodes. It doesn't take a whole lot to get the system to work. All I have is an animation set to 60 frames. So this camera will move closer whenever it collides with the ground or any other object. And then as soon as it reaches about 42 frames, the head turns invisible and it goes into the first person camera. And the way I have that set up is as soon as the camera gets close to the head, it sends a message. So this little object here at frame 42 the property will show the distance. I have my action here using a property instead of just a, a loop, or loop and stop. So as soon as it reaches 42 frames, it makes this head turn invisible and then sends the message first person. And then as soon as it gets far away, as soon as the camera pulls out, it will go back and tell it to go into third person. So anything that's below 42 frames. So the way I got this uh, object to tell the camera is I have it on an always. It'll always be the farthest away it can. So at frame zero, it'll always try to be at frame zero. Then I have a near that's set to the ground collisions. So a distance of three and a reset of three. And then I have the tick turned on. So as well as that, I have it. So if the frames are less than 60, it will go up and it will not go lower than zero. Well, that was a lot of talking and I hope that made a little bit of sense. And then this camera doesn't have anything. I have it all turned off. And the actual rotation of the camera is right here inside the character. So the camera pivots around the actual character instead of pivoting from back here. That gives you a little bit of a better third person view as you would see in most games. Well, that's about it. Hope it was helpful. It's kind of cool. Maybe I'll make a uh, start to finish kind of tutorial for it. I just wanted to show it off. I've been working on this for quite a while to get this to work. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video.